I am Nahid Kabbani, and this is the lighthouse for today's viewers. Welcome to our show. Today we have a special guest. He is an artist and his artwork filled Coloma Community Center with beautiful, beautiful pieces. He has his art gallery in Park Fine Art. So I followed that place. I went there and I will take you there with me to check what they have there for us. Keith Parkman <laughs> is our artist and uh, he has a great oil paint. So many pieces. Let's watch it together. Okay, will you please introduce yourself to our viewers? Yes, I, I am Keith Bachman and uh, I'm an artist and I started working as an artist in high school but I had an interest in art since I was young and when I was in high school, they uh, commissioned me to do portraits, like for twenty dollars. So uh, I got my start doing portraits, and then I went to City College and studied with Fred Dalkey and Greg Condos and uh, Lorraine Landau, a lot of different artists. And uh, I spent a lot of time there, and then I went down south to Maricosta College and studied with some artists there and then I came back to Sacramento and got a job as a janitor and started working there and I was induced to uh, sh do a show there where I work because they have display cases so I uh, started displaying my artwork there and people liked it and I got a good response and so I started painting some more and, and started exhibiting in 2000 so I've been exhibiting for about 10, 12 years now, 13 years. And I've had uh, shows in uh, the Barton's Gallery and 20th Street Gallery. And I've done some shows with Access Sacramento, Channel 17. And uh, I guess that's about it, I guess. So. You have been a young man when you started, how old? Before the high school. Before high school? Oh, I, I uh, always liked to draw in elementary school, and the teacher had me stay after class sometimes and just do drawings. So So it was hobby first, more than yeah. study the art. Then you studied the art. Yeah, and then, and then I started to sell it. My grandfather was an artist, so I was always looking at his paintings and getting inspired and trying to do you know, oil painting. I, I took up oil painting like when I was five years old, so wow. that was my first painting. So I've been doing oil painting for a long time. I was kind of traditional. I like to, to do, deal in oils. Your grandfather was an artist, but you got that uh, habit from him, yeah. but my father was a teacher for art, but I didn't get that habit from him. Oh, <laughs> you did better right. than right. me. <laughs> also, I uh, my attention your poetry and Obama's poetry, and then I noticed who is the one who gave us this uh, treasure as, uh, around us, actually. Do you think about teaching art or just? I had, um offers and just recently they told me they saw my painting at uh, KBIE and the lady in Jackson wanted me to drive up there and 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 teach her class and show them what how I paint a picture and a little bit about myself but you know it's during working time since I got this job as a as a janitor it's, it's hard to go places and to teach and do like that and, I never got a degree from college, so maybe when I retire I can, you know, go back to teaching. But that would be a good idea. Do you paint if uh, somebody asks you to paint there? Yeah, sure, I do, 
I do commissions. Uh -huh. People ask me to do portraits all the time, and I paint them. Uh, do you have family? Yeah, um, my mom and dad in Sacramento. I was born and raised in Sacramento. My sister's in Sacramento. My brother's in Hawaii. That's good. So you don't have your own family, kids and things. That's why you have all your time free. Yeah. You can use yeah. it for, right. for your hobby. That's great. That's yeah. great. So uh, let's go and see what you have for us. All as, right. Uh, your show. I got my idea from a photograph, but I like to use my imagination. And this one and that one was from the same photograph, but this one I looked at the artist Richard Diebenkorn's paintings. And uh, it's like Monterey or someplace around there, but I used like Richard Diebenkorn's colors. And by my folks' house, my parents' house, and I worked from a photograph. And I did several, several, like a series of, of these paintings, and they're all different. So it's like different times, the different seasons. And uh, it's oil. And, and uh, this one is... It's lovely. It's a lot of impasto in this. It took a lot of... Uh, like a heavy impasto painting, it took a lot of layers and a lot of time to, for the paint to dry and the paint on, on it. It's like a sunset from a photograph. I think I put the tree in there. And uh, I, I like it because of the impasto and the different layers. It took, took a while to do it. And this is another, the same creek, this is a series of paintings of the creek by my parents' house, and this is a different time and season. This one, this painting is kind of an imaginary scene, but I, I initially got my idea from a photograph. I just added a pathway and some different colors. And here we have the Power Theater in Sacramento. I've done numerous of these paintings because they sell a lot. Almost every time I paint one of these, they sell. So this is one of the, the largest ones I've done at the uh, Tower Theater. I think this self-portrait is a few years old and I painted it maybe in 010 or something. How old were you? Were? I think I was like 56 maybe. It's like I said, I get a lot of my ideas from painters uh, and this I got my idea from Edward Hopper's painting, seeing his seascapes over and over again. I kind of try to develop my own imaginary scene. This picture of cowboys was on a calendar and I kind of cropped the scene and kind of added my own interpretation of it after seeing a show of, uh, I think it was uh, an artist in their exhibiting in, at the gallery. A Crocker Art Gallery, and it's kind of an impressionistic painting. This painting is William Land Park Golf Course, and I, I added some mountains to it to add a little bit of interest. And I worked on it for a while, and then I put it away and came back on it a, a year or two later and put some more colors in it. And then I was happier with it, so I exhibited it. I kind of like the impasto and the colors in this one. And uh, Eric picked this out from, I, I guess, the pictures that I gave him to show. show. Park. Yeah. Land Park. It says Land Park, but I might be McKinley. Yeah, <laughs> it's been a while ago. I think I did it in 09 or 05, actually. So it's been about almost eight years. It's been on the cover of uh, Inside the City. Another painting of uh, 
from a calendar that I put, took two different pictures uh, of a calendar painting, one at the bottom and the mountains at the top, and put them together. It's, the challenge is getting the light right, because the light has to be the same on both. <laughs> this, is, this is Sacramento City College. I used to go there where I studied with Greg Condos and Forney and Daryl Forney and Fred Dalkey. And People were asking if I could paint a picture of that, so I did. That's a good memory. Okay, and this this painting is trees and mountains. And like before, I think I have two different pictures in here, a foreground from one picture and the mountains in the background. I got my idea to do this one from a photograph in a newspaper and they had some children running around but my parents didn't like the children so I took them out. <laughs> so this is kind of an imaginary scene plus it, it was from a newspaper. This is called Stream and Path and it was the same series as those other creeks uh, and it, it's just you can see my imagination it doesn't look the same at all. I just changed it and looked at different paintings from different artists and added things and kind of try to paint from my memory. People like this one. Um, I think that Laura and, and, and uh, Eric like this Venice painting that I did. Of course it has life, uh, real life. It shows some place. The other general nice views but those have people in it and you see the happiness and things yeah this is the photograph oh this is the one but this is the postcard this is the main um, painting for this show it was put on the postcard and like i said this is like the artist uh demon porn except this is a different style um, but it's the same picture. It's Carmel, I think, or Monterey, Monterey. This is called Artist in the, in the Forest. And uh, I used an artist that was at McKinley Park painting, doing plein air painting, and I painted him in. And this is like a scene, I think, from Pizarro, this landscape around him. It's kind of like an impressionistic thick pastel painting. This, this painting is called A Path in the Woods and it was another painting that my, is behind my parents' house or in front of my parents' house and uh, it's near the creek where the, I did a series of paintings and this is like a nature area and uh, I kind of like the colors and the, the darks and the lights. This of course is a um, Sacramento State Capitol, and uh, I, I, I took this picture of the uh, Capitol and, and came home and painted it from a photograph. This is the Tower Bridge, and it's a, I used a lot of medium to do this one and did some um, overlaying of transparent glazes in the sky and uh, this is like on a kind of a rainy foggy day. But still the, the bridge shiny like a gold. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sacramento City College too, another area of City College looking from the inside to the front entrance and uh, I did this from a photograph I think my mom took of uh, the City College. Yeah. Sea Cliff, this is a painting that I did, I think it was from a photograph. Sometimes my mom takes photographs of Southern California, but I think this might have been in the newspapers. And uh, I started with a little small brush and I was going to paint everything real small and real detailed. And I, I couldn't get the paint off the end of the brush, it was so small, and I kept dabbing it and dabbing it. 
finally it just, it just came off in clumps. So I did the whole thing and there's like a big clumps of pain. So Mr. Eric, welcome to our show. Thank you. And um, thank you for having Mr. Pete, our family member in Paloma Community Center. Absolutely. And uh, would like to have a comment from you about Pete and his uh, work and uh, visitors. Well, uh, this is the second time that Park Fine Arts has been able to have the pleasure of featuring Keith Bachman. Uh, personally, I consider him a friend of mine and, it's, and uh, I really enjoy his work. Most fascinating to me is Keith has the ability to, to channel uh, other artists. Actually, some of his work, you can see Monet in it, you can see Van Gogh in it, you can see Cezanne, you can see a lot of the master works. He has a really good ability to, to put himself in, in, a, in a space uh, for that kind of a particular work and he, and he brings his own elements to it. It's very approachable art and I think it shows beautifully. That's wonderful. How about the visitors? How it shows very well received. People, people are very receptive to his art. It sells well. He prices it competitively. He's very prolific. For this show particularly, he brought me 57 images to choose from. He allows me the liberty of choosing between us. We decide what, what would work best in the shows. That's good. This particular show, I think, is very strong, and it shows a little more. He's becoming more and more free with his color, free with the brush strokes, and, uh, and I think a little more liberty in, in, in what he's doing, and, and, and the artist comes out when, when, when they're having fun with what they do. So this place, you own this place and you do the uh, shows yes. for artists. Yes. Uh, also you give a hand to say. Uh, yeah, we, we typically, the, the gallery tries to just feature one artist at a time so that we can get a large body of work so that people can understand different aspects of an artist. We, we, we typically have shows that run about six weeks and so we also uh, participate in Second Saturday. We usually have a reception for the artist on Second Saturday and, and we get quite a crowd. It's so what is your procedure to bring another artist, maybe first time, new artist? A new artist, city? typically they'll bring me a CD or they'll bring me images of their work, uh, some, something of a list of other places they've shown, price structure, that kind of thing. We decide whether, you know, where it will fit in the schedule and, and uh, work with them. A lot of times I, I, I work with a lot of lead time because there's a lot of space here. This will hold 20, between 20 and 30 works. Sometimes it takes an artist some time to put together a portfolio of that, of that size if they haven't been painting or if they're not nearly as prolific as Keith is. And so we schedule, a lot of times we schedule up to a year in advance so the artist knows well in advance I, I give them the layout of the space and, and the perspectives and everything, and then we work together. When we come closer to the show, we work together on, on, on placement. And is there any fees you take up front or something? From no, I, it's on a commission basis and it's strictly on sales. Mm -hmm. So if, if nothing sells, then neither one of us benefits from that. If something sells, then we share in that and uh, basically, we're both taking a risk. But to me, an artist has to take a great deal of risk to put themselves out in the public. And so basically, if we agree, and, and it's, a, it's partly personality too, we have to get along, we have to understand what we're trying to, what we're trying to, to do here. And so, and it's really about the art. I like to create the space so it's about the art and the artist and really not so much about, about the gallery. But I like to do my best to feature their work in the best light and in the best presentation. That's why I'm trying to let people know about your gallery because it's I important to find a place like your place, give a hand to artists in general. That's, that's really what it was about. I mean, you know, this is, quite frankly, galleries are not a profitable enterprise. I have a, I have a real job to be able to, to, to support this. Um, you are not a profit. No, what I'm saying is, <laughs> I'm saying I, this is, doesn't pay the bills. Okay. I, know, <laughs> I mean, I know. you know what I mean? So basically, it, ha it has to be fun. We have to enjoy what we're doing. We have yes. to, it, it, it's, it, the neighborhood likes it. It's a benefit to people. Nice and clean area. Yes, it is. I grew up in this area. Um, 
so I kind of came back home a little bit. Um, I, I did remodel this building with the purpose of it being an art gallery. I've been an art collector for many years and I actually own a piece of keys work myself. So I'm, I'm sometimes my worst, my worst customer because I end up buying some of the work out of the shows <laughs> that I have. What about uh, advertising? You advertise for the work or the artist? Advertising, we're, we're in a, we're in a c couple different magazines. We're at, we typically advertise in, in, on, in the ticket section in the B. We, we advertise in uh, Sacramento News and Review. Yeah, major. Sacramento sec Magazine. Yeah. And we started working with some local publications to kind of get the word out in the mm -hmm. neighborhoods around here. That's a great job, actually, and you are doing a wonderful job for the community also. To art always good for anybody, even they it don't is. know about art, but at least they will see something just, cheerful. Just the exposure, yes. we get a lot of families and children, and, and so yeah, I mean, it's, I, I, I grew up around it, and I much, very much appreciated the openings that I went to. I like the atmosphere, I like the people. And so really it's about the experience and, and sales to me is, is, you know, sales are nice, but they're somewhat secondary. It's about creating an environment, creating an atmosphere, and hopefully people enjoy it. And Absolutely. Your, your passion leads the whole world. If you it don't does. have that passion and love for art, you'll not do that great job. No, you, you won't. Doing. No, you won't do this. You <laughs> yes. Won't, you will not do this. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. We've really actually we've you. been open almost four years, and so we're going to be closed for a, a couple months to do a little remodeling. I was explaining to Keith, you know, to just clean up the walls and that kind uh -huh. of thing. But yeah. in the spring, we'll be back in. We'll be back at it, and and like I said, we really enjoy it. My wife and I enjoy it very much. That's really wonderful. That's really wonderful, and I'm glad I, I, I met you too. It's to pleasure. talk about this place, to let our viewers know about it. But we like to follow up things, nice things, and bring it to our viewers to benefit both sides. Well, I certainly appreciate that, and I know Keith does as well. Thank you very much. I cut my attention. Is this kids web there, and your parents doesn't like it? No, the kids. One, uh, pen, you said. No, you said you had painted some kids in there in your purse. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so, is there any kids here? No, no, no okay. kids here. <laughs> this actually, if you look, it's a striking piece. Yes. And it obviously, it sold, it sold very quickly. And ah. You can look at it forever. I mean, the, yes, absolutely. How the, much color the is in all of these? How much? I mean, it's, it's, a, it's outstanding. Yeah. And I told the person that bought it if they didn't buy it, I was buying it. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you very much, oh, thank you, Keith, thank for you. giving me this opportunity. Yeah, I'm glad we got to do this. And thank you very much for having us here. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right. Also, we have pieces in Coloma Community Center, so we will follow up with Keith Bachman, and he will explain each pain for you. This is McKinley Rose Garden. I painted it. I was working over at McKinley and I got a picture out of the newspaper, I think it was, and uh, I painted this from that. And, and uh, this painting I worked on for years. I had a picture of that house and this big plant there, but it was missing something. So I came back years later and put in these plants and tried to make it a little more interesting. So it's a lot of glazing and a lot of impasto paint. This one, I believe, is Southern California, if I remember right. And uh, it was from a, a picture and uh, I kind of put vibrant colors in there and kind of made it impressionistic. And uh, this one is a couple of different pictures. I use my imagination a lot and I put that mountain in there. And snow and, and mountains, like a desert. It's, I think it's actually a desert with snow. It's kind of unusual. Sometimes I get my ideas from calendars and I 
profit or add things to it. And this is from a calendar. It's a mountain scene and reflections. This is another calendar picture with mountains and the haystacks. This is a picture of uh, Sacramento's um, state capital, and I got the idea from a newspaper. Then I went to the Crocker Art Gallery, and I was inspired by Norman Rockwell. I saw all his paintings of President Kennedy and people in prayer and big faces and big heads. So I wanted to do some celebrities. So I, I did Elvis and another one of Marilyn Monroe. I got this idea from uh, a photograph in the newspaper and I, I kind of put it put in a slant and I thought it'd make it more interesting and uh, so it's like trees in the sunshine and this is like a garden scene a pond with fish and the Buddha and it's kind of like a meditative painting yeah. This is the Golden Gate Bridge. I don't know why they say Golden Gate when it's red, but this is like a small study, and then I did a larger study of it, a larger full painting. Another study I did for a larger painting of the Tower Theater. Most of my paintings are in like an impressionistic style. This, this is the larger Golden Gate Bridge. The sunset color is really nice. This, this portrait here is a little unusual. It's a self-portrait, but most of all the time I paint from a mirror. And this is one of the rare times I painted from a photograph. So usually you look at the mirror and yeah, usually I, I look in the mirror and paint, and this one is a photograph. That I asked you before, is there any one close to your heart, or all of them like your kids? I think, I think all of them. <laughs> oh. It's hard to choose one. You have your feeling with it. You yeah. cannot choose one above the other. Anyway, thank you for thank being you. with us, and uh, I hope you you will do more and more, and create yeah. more uh, good work, good art, uh, cheer up uh, people around you, give Coloma nice looking building and nice looking thing for the visitors to come. They, uh, the one, first time I saw it when a uh, visitor came to ask where is the gallery. Uh -huh. I said, which gallery? She said, you have gallery here, where is it? I said, really glad I met you and thank, thank you, you for, for me coming to our show. To be on your show. You're welcome. So we'll see you soon. Okay. okay. I hope that you enjoy it. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.